my name's Sylvia Bishop. I write middle grade adventures, humorous but with heart. I'm going to start by reading you the very opening of my very first book, Erica's Elephant, and then tell you a little more about my workshops. The first chapter in which the elephant arrives. The elephant was on Erica's doorstep on the morning of her 10th birthday. There was also a piece of paper stating that she, Erica Perkins, had a legal right to the elephant. But it's all very well, said Erica, fussing about whether I have a right to the elephant. The elephant has been left to me, and that seems to be the bigger problem. She looked the elephant in the eye. Who left you? she demanded. And why? Tronk, said the elephant. And it seemed to Erica to be the sort of tronk which said, I am the wrong elephant to ask. I am confused by life in general, and your doorstep in particular. She felt a little sorry for the elephant, tronking on the step with no idea why he was there or who had sent him. So she patted him on the trunk and led him inside. He broke the door frame, but tronked so sadly about it that Erica wasn't even cross. Besides, it wasn't really his fault. The house was certainly not built for a fine big elephant like him. It was a two up, two down terraced house by the coast with nice views of the sea, but very little space. I started out storytelling uh, in improvised theatre, improvised comedy, uh, not in books. And when I teach storytelling, I like to use the ideas I learn there uh, and show students of all ages how they can be used to ignite exciting ideas fast. Uh, my main aim is that everyone has fun uh, and that they realise that storytelling should be playful and joyful. Um, I think the same techniques that can teach us to have an idea anytime, anywhere from anything can also help us to rein in the ideas that don't quite make sense. Uh, the sort of meandering and zany stories where suddenly there, there's dinosaurs in volcanoes on the moon all at the same time. Uh, so those are the kind of dual aims of the way that I teach storytelling. It's really interactive. Uh, I try to get everyone involved. And if you go for the musical option, you also get my friend and colleague Dylan Townley on the piano making up songs about the children's stories. It would be wonderful to meet you. Thanks for listening.